what you gonna do with my loving ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> do my lamp on my server this week I am in the I am in, in the I am in the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro Max 1 terabyte board cash no contract <laughs> That's such a long name and such an unorthodox name because it's so similar to obviously our phones, uh, the Apple products. Uh, but yeah, very interesting car and let's chat about it. guys know about the cars.coza app and website so do check it out below all the links are there in my description box it's available on apple android and on the huawei app gallery so please make sure you check it out if you're looking for an affordability tool you know to check your finances you can definitely use that one if you're also looking for a new cherry or a used cherry you guys know what to do check the cars.coza app and website so if and you are new to the channel where have you been my servant like baton we are almost at 25,000 you just come now but anyway welcome i hope you guys enjoy it here please do check out all my other reviews and watch the ads don't skip the ads and if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to watch the ads please guys i'm i'm very pedantic about that please watch the ads it means a lot it does a lot for our channels and it really helps us grow it helps us get all the nice things we need to make sure that the uh, channel grows from strength to strength so all right let's get into the cherry okay so now the cherry tigo 7 pro max is obviously a new offering from the cherry brand and it's a very pretty car on the exterior i think you guys can all see that it looks very very good you have these square kind of headlamps that extend into the body of the vehicle you have these blue accents going on around the the, the bumper area of the vehicle kind of giving it a bit of a hybrid look but it's actually not a hybrid um you also find those blue accents at the rear there by the spoiler at the top and um you even have red calipers on this one so there's definitely there's the 7 tigo the tigo 7 pro and now this one is the pro max which comes above it so it's actually a very nice one i think there's an all-wheel drive version available or oh, it's coming soon i'm not too sure um but in terms of the exterior i think it looks really pretty looks really imposing i love how the cherry badge is sitting up there you know this diamond cut kind of grill that glistens and sparkles as you drive and i think it's a very very beautiful vehicle on the exterior you have the 290t at the back that denotes that it has 290 newton meters and the t denotes that it's a turbo so very 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 nice exterior um i'm really impressed with the way it looks on the outside let's get into the interior of the cherry tigo 7 pro max i think on the interior it's a very beautiful car to be in um decent quality materials used all around the cabin you have your flat bottom steering wheel you have all these functional buttons on this multifunction steering wheel which is actually quite cool you know there's a million buttons on these things i don't understand that you have your curved display um which is quite nice you know your climate control menus are all touch operated and obviously appear on the infotainment system screen two cup holders in front a usb c slot and a normal usb slot in here um your center console is also very nice you have a rotary dial for the volume your hazards button is also down here you have storage space in the middle of this, this uh, floating center console which i find to be a very nice touch and I think it's very very pretty so you also have more space on the bottom because of the center console um, you have these bucket est kind of seats in here so really really nice interior very nice and functional um, you have uh, also at the rear so you have this um, a bit of a flat surface at the rear so you don't have that little um, hump nyana that you usually get in normal cars um, so where, where now your feet are kind of like segregated um, so it's just a, a very free, free flowing kind of interior you have a sony sound system um, you have all these leather s kind of materials and the contrast with the plastics actually looks good and this gray aesthetic on the inside you have a large panoramic sunroof you also have the the, uh, the white roof lining allowing more light in you guys know that this is a it's a very roomy and kind of gives it a very roomy and uh, very spacious kind of feel in terms of the interior i am very impressed um really think that it, it definitely looks the part 
so let's get into the drive how does the cherry 207 pro max drive this vehicle is powered by a 1.6 liter turbo petrol engine that produces 145 kilowatts and 290 newton meters of torque and it's actually very impressive i think this 1.6 liter engine is absolutely doing the things you know i think cherry claims about six liters seven liters per 100 k's in terms of consumption i am doing you know this infotainment system thing is, is quite tricky sometimes to use because you never know on the steering there the buttons on the left operate your instrument cluster but the buttons on the right in, uh, uh, um, do this thing yeah the info team so it's very confusing i'm doing 10 liters per 100 k's but we do know that um chinese cars and like consumption is very high in the chinese cars so it's neither here nor there but in terms of the way it drives it's really really proper in the way it drives you know obviously there's could be a little bit of refinement needed there could be there could be a little bit more of synergy between the seven speed dct and the engine and obviously the whole workings of the car but it's a very good attempt it drives very comfortably it, it, it moves quite well it's very nice to drive um gear changes are actually quite decent um so in terms of the way it drives i'm not i'm not unimpressed actually but to be honest like i i really think that it's a proper proper little thing to be in um so let's get into the verdict yo guys um cherry 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 my lacquer cherry 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 lady yo lacquer dung <laughs> cherry um this is my first time behind the cherry in terms of test and i think the 7 pro max is a beautiful attempt at making a very affordable and a very nice suv for many south africans so this vehicle is uh, the Cherry T07 Pro range starts at 529,000. The one we are in this week is 559,000, just under 600,000 rand. So I think there's a lot of value here. However, I'm going to start with the things that I don't like. One, I don't like the nervous infotainment system and the nervous safety aids that are in this car. Like it just beeps and bongs and does everything. Bing, bong, bing. And sometimes now the blind spot monitor just kicks in and goes haywire and then it just makes everything so it just makes everything so jarring and very uncomfortable to drive. So that's one of the things that I don't really like um, about the 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 thingy game, about the the workings of this car. The second thing I don't like is that everything is housed in two an infotainment system screen one thing and that is a bit of a recipe for disaster in the long term because if one thing breaks the whole thing breaks you guys saw what happened with me in the omoda and that's one thing that i'm very skeptical about when it comes to these newer cars is the fact that now all everything is just tech crazy tech laden and it just falls apart things are gonna like just mess up so that's one thing i'm very skeptical of i would have loved conventional buttons for the climate control menu just something different something a bit more um just something a bit less um like everything so tech crazy you know third thing i don't like this rear view mirror this rear view mirror reminds me a lot of the dance and go it's distorted it hurts my eyes i don't see much of what's happening the cars at the back look blurry like yo uh uh guys uh, this rear view mirror needs a complete overhaul they need to change this thing so to, those are the things i really really don't like and the one other thing that i'm picking up is that this car is very uncomfortable suspension is very stiff in here it's tough um my bums and my thighs are very sore and i i think like yesterday or the day before i drove to midrand from pretoria i think Hagenamela highway in fact my bums were already so just 20 minutes of driving in this car i felt like my bums were going through it it was just absolutely painful for me so that's one thing that i'm just like oh, that's a bit uncomfortable so yeah what is nice about this car is how even with all the tech that's laden in here it is quite good and i understand what joy cherry is coming from in terms of trying to give south africans um, a lot of value for the money that they're paying for you do get electrically adjustable seats you get a sony sound system you get a lot of space you get a fully fetched spare wheel and i think that's what gives them also a competitive edge over haval if you've watched my haval reviews and if you've been like uh, accustomed to an haval they don't really come with spare wheels so these ones have an advantage boot space is absolutely amazing for the type of car it is um the rear legroom and rear occupancy is absolutely beautiful when you take fold all the seats down you get a plethora and ample space and i think that actually that is a very 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 commendable thing so in terms of the car i'm very impressed with the cherry i'm absolutely impressed with the cherry this is actually what they should be focusing on i think like 
this is actually very proper like this is actually a very very good car they just need to work on some teething things obviously a bit more synergy between the dct and this engine you know just refine a little tweak or whatever this rear view mirror small things that they need to fix but i think cherry is on the right track and one thing that i can give cherry and um, props for is that they have a bit of a more luxurious feel as opposed to haval so their cars feel a bit more like yeah no this is um their cars feel a bit more luxurious in terms of like this is a bit more better finishes in here um it's a, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a nicer car to be in as opposed to haval um haval products are really good and i haven't had any issues with them but i think they are very more value for money oriented and just stick to the mandate and stick to the game plan and they do it very very well whereas these guys have really come in with a bit of a more luxurious um effect to their products so i think i'm highly impressed with the cherry guys i mean yeah obviously fuel consumption could be a little bit better um but i mean ultimately cherry is on the right track this is what they should be focusing on the 7 pro max is all that you need and if you can afford it i really do recommend it uh 559 000 rand is absolutely amazing um i think it's, it's great value for money because i think the ford puma is much smaller and you won't get as much car in the in the ford puma as you will here so i think there's a lot of value here i mean this is almost polo pricing you can get a fully fledged suv with all the bells and whistles for a polo so i think they really have gotten it right i think cherry is i'm very impressed and i think this is even a car i would consider for myself i mean I can't believe how impressed I am by this cherry. It's really, really good. Ah, yo lekker ding, yo cherry. May lekker, lekker cherry. Huh? Mooi man. I think they did, like, they, they really knocked it out the park. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so ultimately, I'll have to give the Cherry Tigo 7 Pro Max 1 terabyte <laughs> a proper, proper, proper 8 out of 10 it's good it looks good it could be a bit more comfortable all these tech and nitty-gritty small things that i've mentioned can be alleviated quite easily um i think my only biggest quarrel is the comfort levels because even now i'm moving my torso and i'm moving my body around because i'm very uncomfortable um it's very firm the seats are very firm and the suspension is very firm the way it drives also you can feel all the bumps and the dips so i think there's a bit of refinement that's needed but i think this is actually a very stunning car and I mean, it competes with quite a, a number of vehicles. I mean, price-wise, you can even get a Haval Jolion. Um, a Haval Jolion. You can get the H6. Um, you can get quite a number of cars um, in the 559,000 rand price point. So ultimately, an 8 out of 10 rating for me, I think it's very fair. Um, because I think they, they really did well with the 7 Pro Max. And I think for people who cannot really afford to go for all the way out for the 8 Pro Max, I think this one is a very, very good car. You're not even settling with this one. You're buying something that really has an identity of its own and it's a proper, proper little vehicle. And that is it from me, Buma Server. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you guys are getting for 559,000 Rand. Are you getting this? Are you getting a Jolion? Are you getting an 86? Are you getting a Grand Vitara? Are you getting a Polo? Are you getting a Tigo? Are you getting a T-Cross? Are you getting a Venue? Are you getting a Hyundai? Just try to put in perspective how much cars you can get for the money they're giving you guys here. So ultimately for me, I think you guys should really, really give the Cherry a chance. I think it was a very highly anticipated review i think look at it i think really consider it um especially if you are looking for a car that can fit your family uh, uh, properly and is very spacious and at a at a great budget and looks the part it absolutely looks stunning guys i don't know if you guys have seen but it looks i think it looks really pretty i think it looks really pretty anyway <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye boomer seven why am i harmonizing i'm harmonizing for you guys <laughs> oh man i need some tea wait to get a little thing but let me get a pie and give me a pie a pepper steak i think i should go buy that right now i think i should go buy a pepper steak pie wait for me yeah i think i'm gonna go buy a pepper steak pie i'm talking again okay shop bye guys bye boomer seven <laughs>